Well, a six-week trial has come to an end after a jury announced the verdict in a mold case against Seattle Children's Hospital. So our Seattle station has been investigating this case since mold in the hospital's ventilation system began infecting several patients and even killing seven. There are two major questions in this case. The first is whether fault lies with the doctors at Seattle Children's Hospital, and the second is whether there was negligence as a result of the mold. Attorneys representing the family tell me they are disappointed. Was no. In a downtown Seattle courtroom. We, the jury, answer the question submitted by the court as follows. King County Judge Jim Rogers read the long-awaited verdict handed down by 12 jurors. Question one. Did the University of Washington pediatric neurosurgeons or pediatric radiologists breach the standard of care when operating on a two-year-old boy in 2019? In court documents, the toddler goes by HK. Answer, no. The jury found that Seattle Children's Hospital's negligence did cause injury and damages as a result of mold. The jury awarded HK, his mother and father, each $250,000, totaling $750,000. Far different from the 40 to $53 million plaintiffs asked for in damages. I think you can argue that the loss of one third of your skull is worth more than a quarter of a million dollars. Uh, on the other hand, you know, we're willing to abide by the jury's numbers for each of the three of them. The surgical team removed a flap of skull bone from the boy's head to access his brain. After the procedure, the skull bone tested positive for aspergillus, a mold that has been a problem in the hospital's operating rooms. Seven patients have died from hospital-acquired mold infections at Seattle Children's since 2001, and more than a dozen others have been injured. There are more lawsuits, and while some have been settled, this is the first to go to trial. Attorney Ed Moore, who represents the family, says this verdict could impact how other claims are viewed. The fact that the jury awarded almost a million dollars for these aspergillus damages proves that even in a case where the child does not become sick with it, that it's a serious injury. Attorneys representing the family tell me it's possible they will appeal. Attorneys representing Seattle Children's Hospital declined to talk with me today. Here in Seattle, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.